Hello, everybody. Dawn Santuriello here, and I just want to give you an update. So it's not news to anyone that the first half of this year has been really rough for investors. After reaching record levels at the end of 2021, the market has experienced six months of volatility and decline. In fact, coming on the heels of such sustained gains has made this year's retreats even harder to stomach. The expectations of many investors was that the upward trend would simply continue, maybe flatten a little, but still climb. Unfortunately, the market is more like a roller coaster than a rocket. You can't count on upward momentum, and the sudden drops are usually a surprise. You're probably familiar with the two animals used to describe the behavior of the market, the bull and the bear. A bull market is where stock prices rise and as a whole are rising. A bear market is where they are falling. To differentiate from the latter from the short-term volatility, experts agree that a bear market is when the broad market indexes experience a decline, experience a decline of 20% for over a period of months. Now, it's not an exact measure, but with the major indexes down about 20% from the beginning of the year, most are beginning to agree that we are currently in a bear market. And as you can imagine, investors are not sitting down with this news and not taking this lightly. Many people are moving their money out of the stocks and into a multitude of other instruments, hoping to reverse their losses, anything from bonds to precious metals to obscure, obscure commodities. However, because the condition of this bear market is unique, as they always are, these alternatives are not behaving in the past and so are not always bear proof. I have been planning for the possibility of a bear market and through diversification have sought to mitigate some of their decline in the indexes while also preparing you to take advantage of a market recovery. Big gains often happen just a few days each year. And by the time they're evident, it's too late to buy in. Um, so here's what some advice what you should do in a bear market. And none of it has anything to do with investing. First of all, acknowledge the role of your emotions. Because of our natural aversion to loss, the bad feelings caused by a bear market far outweigh the joy we feel when a bull market is producing nothing but gains. Second, make sure you're getting enough sleep. The sleep-deprived brain is much more prone to worry, and a lack of adequate rest can lead many to many other health issues. Finally, do some reading. Don't try to do something in order to better yourself. Find something that you truly enjoy, because when you're engrossed in a book, your mind enters into what is known as the flow state. And by concentrating on one thing, you lose yourself and you stop fluttering from worry to worry. And this effect is a healthy and calming. So letting bear markets determine your happiness is a huge mistake. So my advice, get a good night's sleep, read books for fun and go for long walks. And I promise you, the market will still be there when you return. So if you tried all that and you still find yourself concerned, reach out to me at 215-660-0288. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.